Hi everyone, this is Jackie Jones, founder and CEO of Way We Do. In the last two videos I created, um, we looked at connecting Microsoft Forms with Way We Do. And so um, the example that we used was a customer complaint form, um, and this can be embedded into a website. And when this form is submitted, it then runs at the customer complaint process in Way We Do, and it invites the store manager to complete um, all the steps of um, this particular process. So what we want to do is actually take this a little bit further and that is some of the data that's being added to this complaint form. We want that information to be added automatically to the step or to the comments area um, in step one. So we have all the information at hand. So the way we're going to do that um, is by using Microsoft Flow. And we've already set up the first part of that flow um, within Microsoft Flow. And that is when the Microsoft form um, is submitted, then that response is received, then is going to create a checklist instance and it's going to insert the title, so the name of the customer um, from the data that's actually received um, in that form. Um, and then we've also inserted the timestamp of when that submission was actually made. And because that time was in UTC time, we then converted it to local time. So we're going to add an extra few steps to add some more details um, to a comment within the first step um, of that process. So after creating a checklist, we then need to add an additional action. And we're going to click um, Add an Action here. And we're going to search for or use, okay, wait, we'll do a search for way we do. And one of the actions that's available is um, finding a checklist um, step. So when you find or we'll select this option here. OK, so from there, we want to add the instance ID. We're going to select enter custom value. And sometimes you have to select the um, see more links and we're going to select instance ID. So it's actually using the data from uh, that's previously used um, in this process. From there, it says search for a step title. So you're not actually searching for a step title because um, that's not actually available directly um, in these um, data points that are available um, uh, within way we do. Um, but what we what we can do is go to our checklist in way we do and the first step here um, or the, the step title we can copy it and we'll go back to flow and then we simply paste that into the step title. So what it's doing is actually searching for the step um, that has this exact title. From there we're going to click um, apply to each or add an action which is apply to each. And what it's doing is any of the data that's um, available from previous steps, we're going to use that in the, the current step that um, is being created. So one of the items we want to add here from the dynamic content is body. And, and from the way we do, we call it body, but it essentially, um, when we start to add additional actions here, it's listing all the different data points that are available for you to use. So I'm going to add an action here. And again, I'm going to search for way we do. And the first action that's displayed here is add a comment to a checklist instance step. So I'm going to choose this particular item. And then there's a range of data or information we need to apply here. So the first one is um, selecting the, the um, checklist instance ID. And again, we're going to choose enter custom value. And so we're going to look for instance ID. So basically it's pulling in the instant ID that was created further up um, in this flow. Then we want to use the step ID. So uh, in a previous step, we so this here, find checklist um, step. This is actually creating the step ID. So I'm going to select enter custom value and the item that's available here is step ID. 
From there, we can add the user ID. So I'm going to choose Jackie at Way We Do as being um, the user who will be um, following this process. And then we've got the ability to add in the comment text. And again, pull in dynamic content or data um, that has been submitted into that Microsoft form. So you also have the ability to format it the way that you want it. Um, so I'm going to add in uh, text regarding the, the issue details. Um, and then I'm going to add in some details such as customer name. So if I look down at, at this list here, uh, we have all the data from that Microsoft form. So the question, what is your name? I want that um, data to be displayed for customer name. I then hit enter and then I can add in the next piece of information. So I want customer phone number, for example. So I'll choose this question here. What is the best phone number to call you? Um, customer email. And so what is your email address? Uh, the next item is the problem um, experienced. So we have um, into the details of the issue um, experienced. And then the date the issue occurred. Um, so we're going to enter in um, what date. So there should be a question here. What date did the incident occur? And then the store name. And so I've got another piece of information here. So it's enter the restaurant store name and location. So that's the information that I want to be populated in the comments section um, of the first step of the way we do um, process. Okay, so we're gonna click save. And then we're going to uh, run and test um, this flow to ensure that it's working correctly. Um, and to ensure that this content is being added automatically to step one of um, the customer complaint process in way we do. So I'm gonna click test up here and I'm gonna choose, I'll perform the trigger action and then I click save and test. So it's now waiting for, for me to perform that action. So I'm gonna go to the customer complaint form and we're going to fill it in. So I'm gonna choose today's date, um, the name of the restaurant, I'll put Stone's Corner for this one. What is your name? I'm gonna say this is Bobby Smith, what is your email address? Bobby at um, smithville.com. Best phone number to call you on. And details of the issue um, of the issue experienced. So it would be um, food was delivered um, cold. Um, it didn't taste very good. Okay, so we'll submit um, this particular form. So when that is submitted, um, we'll go back to our flow here. And so Microsoft Flow is saying that this process is running. Um, and actually in this process, we added, um, uh, actually went through each of the, the steps here and it shows you the number of seconds it's taken for each step to run. Um, and when it, run successfully, then so there's a little green tick for each of those steps. So if we now go to way we do, and actually let's go to the user dashboard. And we can see here that uh, this is the form we just submitted and Microsoft, Microsoft Flow then created the, um, the, the checklist instance for the customer complaint process within way we do. And it's inserted the, um, the, the title as being the name of the customer and then the converted time zone um, that is there. So if I now click on this item, uh, and it shows the first step of the process. So how was the complaint received? And we can see um, already that one comment has been added. So if I click on the instruction panel there to open it up, um, we then have all the data that was um, sent from Microsoft Flow to be inserted directly into the notes field. And so this is the information that the store manager needs to investigate this issue further, rather than having to go back to Microsoft Forms and then looking up the actual um, complaint that was made. So all the data is here in way we do and it's prompting the, the store manager to follow up um, with this particular um, process. 
So that works very well. Um, so with Microsoft Flow, if you do not have access to Microsoft Flow, you, you simply go to flow.microsoft.com. If you're an Office 365 user, um, it, Microsoft Flow becomes part of your subscription along with Microsoft Forms. So you can experiment um, connecting Microsoft Forms with the way we do quite easily. And if you don't, then um, you can still go to flow.microsoft.com uh, and forms.microsoft.com and you can sign up to trials on those particular web applications. And if you haven't got access to Way We Do, you can actually um, go to our website at waywedo.com and just follow the buttons that tell you to, um, to create a new trial account and you have 14 days to, to have a play. So I wish you all the best with connecting um, the way we do with all the apps that you're using. Um, if you need some additional support, we're here to help. Simply go to um, support.waywedo.com. You can also email our team at support at waywedo.com and you're also most welcome to book a meeting with us by going to waywedo.com forward slash meeting. Um, hope you have a great day. Have fun with creating all of your flows and connecting all of your apps. And we look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye.